What's up? I'm Naj. I'm here with Breakthrough TV, here to break down my project, Love Naj. You said you don't want to get involved Though I'm the only one who knows who you are I'm breaking your walls I gave you my all Oh man, who am I? Well, my name is Naj. I like to consider myself um, an honest individual someone who just likes to flow with the wind, see things how they go. Um, I'm from Pomona, California. Uh, born in Montclair, grew up in California, in Pomona when I was like three, moved over there. Been there since, still there. Uh, um, I guess I would say it made me diverse, you know, um, Growing up and going to a school in, you know, not one of the best neighborhoods, and then uh, transferring to another school in a different neighborhood with kids on the opposite end of that spectrum. So um, I kind of learned both sides of the coin when it comes to, you know, people in poverty and then people with wealth. So I think I got um, a lot of different perspectives. Also, you know, growing up, my dad's a pastor. So there are a lot of different, um, a wide variety of things. Looking at it from different viewpoints, I guess kind of made, I want to say it influences my music because the way that I write, I try not to write from just my viewpoint and I always try to see things from how someone else might see it. Uh, I guess I've been making music since I was like, since I was a little kid, I was writing and, and having fun with it. I started doing it a little seriously when I was 14. I started writing seriously. By the time I was 18, I recorded my first song. And then since then, I just haven't looked back. Baby, if you did that, let me Man, I was singing all the time as a kid, but um. I wouldn't necessarily say that I knew I had a good voice. My grandma would always make fun of me and say I couldn't sing. So for a while, I stopped singing for like four or five years. And then um, when I started again, I wasn't that good. I was one of those people like I could hold a note, but from what you hear now, it wasn't like that. So it really took me just, I guess I felt like I had to sing for my songs because I wanted melodies in there, but I didn't have anybody to sing for me. So um, the more I did it, the better I got. And people were just telling me, you know, you have a really good voice, you should sing more. And I listen, then my voice just keeps getting better, honestly. Man, growing up, a lot of gospel music, um, a lot of, I guess, Kurt Franklin. Um, I can't name specific artists growing up. I wasn't really allowed to listen to secular music, so. Uh, I was more onto gospel, but I did listen to it from my brother and my aunt, you know, relatives. So the, the general style of 90s R&B is a huge influence on me, as well as um, Frank Ocean, I want to say, Party Next Door, Ty Dolla Sign, Mac Miller. They're huge influences on the way that I construct my music. She left me in hey, hey. Man, that's a good question. A lot, recently, a lot of Joyce Rice. A lot of Joyce Rice recently, she just released a project called Overground and it's a beautiful project. Um, other than that, mostly my music, to be honest. It's either her or my music or AP81. Um, there's a guy who produces a lot of my stuff. He makes his own stuff and uh, it's really good. So those three artists, I wanna say. Hey, it's bad waiting. To let you oh, man all my all of my songs are so honest that it starts to feel like I'm writing a letter to somebody um, so I kind of just wanted to cap it off by saying love Nash you know letting everybody know this is from me to you <sighs> I'm working hard on an album and I just wanted to give people a taste that's really it I didn't want to give them too much just a general vibe of what I was gonna go for in this project. And uh, that's pretty much it. A couple of the songs 
that I wanted to use at the time were acoustic. I didn't end up using those songs, but we kind of just, me and my managers came together and got the idea, hey, just put it together, a three project, you know, a three song project and do it all acoustic. So I told AP81, I said, yo, just play some guitar chords, you know, just keep playing them um, four bar chords or whatever. And then if I don't like it, if I don't sing to it, just move on. We would just do that for days. And then I would just sing freestyle. And if I liked it, I would record it. Ooh, yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, that's a very, very close friend of mine. I love him. So it's it's really easy to work with him. He knows how I work and I know how he works. So. Well, those songs, I guess, I want to say I was, we're from a different space. So those songs were me kind of playing around with what I can do when I make music with constructing a song. If you listen to Come Over My Love, it's full of harmonies. I was playing around with how, how much I can do in the scale. Um, so that was just me having fun with making music. Um, so the difference between that and this is this is me just being honest, raw. You know, I freestyle a lot of my music. I don't write any of it, so it's all like I said. It's me having a conversation. So uh, this the progress is me being more honest and truthful. A lot. Just this past year and a half, there's been a lot of personal growth. Um, getting out of a long relationship. So I spent like most of my high school and then afterwards probably four years in a relationship. So I guess the progress is immense because I'm experiencing a whole new world, I wanna say. Um, my, my view on life, on how I treat people, um, on how I speak to people and how I allow people to speak to me. And that all comes out in my music too. And, and the things that I express, if you listen to the words. Um, a, a lot of my songs are even me speaking, um, me speaking for somebody else, you know, detailing things that they told me and the ways that they felt about situations. A fan favorite, I would say is Petals of a Flower for sure. Um, my personal favorite is Hard, it's really, it depends on how I'm feeling. Cause I felt, I mean, I made all those songs cause I felt it. So whenever I'm feeling whichever way the song is talking about, that's gonna be my favorite at the time. When I make, each time I make a song, I'm playing it over and over again the whole day, nonstop. So they're all my favorites. It's impossible to choose. Honest, um, vulnerable, and uh, unapologetic. An album, a whole lot of videos, a whole lot of pictures. Um, yeah, really music mostly though. It's the most important thing. Good music too, I guarantee it. Man, thank you. Honestly, like every one of you, it means a lot to me. All the messages that I get every day, you know, people posting on their stories when I post just pictures, it doesn't even have to be about music. You know, just the genuine support from people, I feel um, understood. I feel understood, which is something that I didn't feel a lot growing up. So this is kind of, music is my way of trying to be understood. So the reaction that I get from people is a blessing every day. Man, that's a hard question. I think I've always been this guy since I was a little kid. My family was telling you I was rapping before I knew how to speak. You know, I was always talking in rhythm. So I was always kind of, I don't want to say showing off, but if there was a way where I could be the center of attention, then I wanted to do it. So I feel the same. Only difference is when people that I've never met know me, it throws me off. Other than that, there's no difference. Like the jewel on your neck, I can make you look good. Wrapped around my arm, don't you let it go. 
And I'll never find your heart if we're always in the dark, yeah. See the 